Bonsoir à toutes et à tous. On se retrouve pour la suite de Vampire. Alors, on vient de retrouver le prêtre Sin Hampton, qui malheureusement était devenu un scal. Ils ont été pris à plusieurs personnes dans son sillage, de son retour à l'église. Il nous fallait donc maintenant s'occuper de lui. Et lorsqu'on lui a parlé, il nous a dit qu'il était totalement innocent. Il nous a dit que la preuve se trouve dans les égouts, bien sûr, c'est un piège. Évidemment, il s'agit d'un piège. Nous le savons, nous le savons. Nous voici, nous voilà sur le jeu. Alors, trouver l'entrée des égouts. Alors, ça a été un peu la laborieux hein, déjà de base pour euh, trouver euh, comment accéder à, à l'église. Alors, les égouts, je ne vous en parle pas. Alors, euh, niveau 17, ça, hein. Résistance un petit peu au sang, mais pas trop aux armes. Euh, juste aux armes à distance. Ah, bah tiens, le prêtre, je pourrais, ouais, je pourrais me le faire comme ça, le prêtre. Ah, regardez. Bam Merde. Putain l'enfoiré, lire ta croix. Voilà. On prend la masse. Hop. On croit que le monsieur. Qu'est-ce que ça tue Est-ce que ça fait blague des gars maintenant Toi tu te calmes Voilà. On a un peu pété, hein. faut dire qu'on a passé un peu trop de niveau. On a mangé un peu trop d'innocents, malheureusement. C'est le jeu qui veut ça. Tu fais ton propre choix, soit tu. Soit tu trouves le jeu trop dur et tu faisais la facilité en mangeant des gens. Soit tu respectes les convictions humaines, tu ne manges personne. Ah, il te voit lui dans le noir! Il est magicien, le mec! Ah, oh, tais-toi! Ça, c'est bon, mais c'est un masque d'écart! Ah, Ça fait masse dégâts, hein, franchement, quand je croque des gens maintenant. C'est dégueulasse. Hein. Ça fait bien trop de dégâts. Et on va, va l'augmenter à fond. Hein. Je pense que c'est vraiment le truc que je veux Tu sais, toi, j'ai euh, j'ai hein. ouais. oh, dégâts que ça. Hein. Une fois que je l'ai augmenté à fond, ça va avoir une shot. Que ça se bat. Tout ce qu'on doit faire, c'est trouver l'entrée des égouts. C'est plutôt par là-bas. Là, il y avait des trucs à ramasser. Tout le monde des cartouches. Il mieux que j'en ai utilisé quelques-unes. Entre les égouts, ça me paraît être là. Très très bien, c'est ici. Entre des égouts est ici. Ça y est, on a trouvé. Alors, que va-t-on trouver dans ces égouts hallucinant ou beware c'est fermé ici it's locked all right ok faut de l'autre côté très bien parce qu'ici tout 
veux bien, ok, hop. Alors ce jeu ne m'a pas l'air d'être pourvu d'énigmes, hein, mais bon, c'est ton, ton jamais. Peut-être que euh, l'énigme commence maintenant. Pas fermé à cause des tonneaux, c'est ça Ça ne peut pas se fermer à cause des tonneaux. Il n'y a pas que tout le monde. Ok, celle-là du coup tu vas Très bien. Je peux aller dans l'eau, j'espère. Je peux. Je peux. Bon, la réponse est oui. C'est le truc qui me fait le plus flipper, ça. Quand t'as de l'eau comme ça, et que t'as la créature de malade qui sort de l'eau, là. Alors t'es là tranquille, t'as rien demandé, puis d'un coup t'as une bête immonde qui sort de l'eau. C'est les trucs les plus défaillants, ça. Sans. sans... tromper c'est celui-là alors je pense je vais voir là mais je pense qu'en fait il faut ouvrir la porte de gauche et on doit pouvoir s'y téléporter tout simplement alors ça peut être que ça de toute façon hop c'est ça Donc, on ouvre la valve de gauche Tac. et là on doit pouvoir y passer hop voilà bah, comme ça qui a fait ce bruit Ah, 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 un niveau 2 qui va être très très bon normalement. On a même plus d'eau là. -bas. Donc, du coup, ils vont accepter d'ouvrir la porte. Voilà, tout simplement. Putain, le bruit de l'ouverture de la porte, j'aime pas ça. Un petit coup d'invisibilité et disparu. le temps de faire quoi que ce soit t'as je sens personne moi je récupère mon envie tranquillement ok des bougies quelques cadavres toujours des cadavres ok Téléporter ce vieux fumier. Il aime bien nous faire peur avec des petites téléportations. Hein. Genre screamer, un hein, machin qui se téléporte et tout. Ça a marché la première fois dans la morgue, mais là, ça ne fonctionne plus, Billy. Je suis immunisé. Voyons. On tue. I cannot enter. Très bien. Ah, c'est Mais je voulais pas sauter, moi. Il a sauté. Ces 
These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again? The one they call the Sewer Dog. Hold your tongue, new boy, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally! A touch of lucidity. Respect the laws of Ascalon! Je vois bien que tu nous respectes. Euh... Respecte-moi, je te dis. Oh là là, ça crie pas. Alors, ok. Plutôt ça. Tac. Concentrons-nous, restons calmes et concentrons-nous. Oh, c'est relou. Est-ce que je pourrais peut-être pas interrompre ces trucs avec une attaque Et avec justement peut-être... Peut-être avec... Euh, le... Ici, là-bas. Ici. Avec le stun et la coagulation. Quelqu'un qui lutte contre les ténèbres, si j'ai bien compris. C'est K qui est ténèbres. Du 
Il faut que je fasse chaud en dessous. Tac. Ah. Avec ça, là, il va être calmé, tu vois. Te respecter un petit peu. Putain, allez, je vais déjà mourir. Il saoule. Hein. Oui, ils sont pas morts. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. C'est une porte là, du coup. It's locked. Ça c'est les verrouillés. Faut pas verrouiller. Hein. Faut que je remonte mon heal aussi. Hein. Soit le heal de la morsure, soit le heal de mon truc. Ou alors que je me crée plus de seringues, mais je sais pas. Je me heal mais comme une merde. The poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far.
Il y avait un truc sur le côté droite que je suis pas allé voir du coup. On pouvait monter. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. Ça c'était le passage, ok. Le fameux. On peut aller là-bas. Et pourquoi aller là-bas Je ne sais pas parce qu'il n'y a absolument rien ici. Mais bon, on peut aller là. Très très bien. Et du coup, lui, on est là et lui était. Et alors, on va le sent. Isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget, and this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Egon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Egon, but I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. For a moment, there is a bit of a parasite. I didn't see it, excuse me. I hope you didn't. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. The guard of Prewan is hunting him. He is suspected of murder. The Skulls have always been hunted by humans and vampires alike. I teach them how to survive against the odds. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you, she is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind.
Bon, on va visiter, hein. Oh, Bridget, allow me to wander above some years back. It was unpleasant. J'ai pensé au... à l'oracle dans. Comment ça s'appelle À l'oracle dans. Dans Viking. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? Ascalon has stalked us for ages. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? Your place is not here. Chorotine. Bon, il faut qu'un d'eux nous parle. Je peux aller directement à la dame. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. Don't you know? Gratitude for your protection, Master. pas une coïncidence, les Econs sont les plus nombreux et les plus éminents des vampires. Les Econs représentent la véritable aristocratie des immortels. Et si je peux me le permettre, ils sont les seuls à pouvoir rester au sommet de la chaîne alimentaire. Partout où je me suis rendu, je n'ai rencontré que des Econs qui dirigeaient la société mortelle et immortelle. Les Econs sont les plus humains, les plus intelligents et les plus instruits de tous les vampires. Comprenez-moi bien, je n'ai rien contre les espèces plus exotiques comme les Vulcodes, qui partagent avec nous ce don qu'est l'immortalité. La plupart d'entre eux peuvent s'avérer utiles si on les oriente vers un but précis, mais il leur manque les plus importantes des caractéristiques, la capacité à se mêler aux mortels sans se faire repérer. Par conséquent, le club Ascalon, Ascalon accepte que les Econs, issus des plus hautes lignées comme membres de son cercle, selon les circonstances des Vulcodes, peuvent être acceptés en tant que chien de guerre ou chien de chasse, tant qu'ils obéissent à notre loi. Par chance, ses cousins inférieurs ont une tendance naturelle à se soumettre et à obéir à leur maître. C'est intéressant. Quand j'ai vu le titre, je me suis dit que je peux lire. Il me paraît les plus fondamentales. Hello, Harriet. C'est vraiment elle. Hmm. Yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital, the young doctor, so full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet, if you would. I love questions. As for the answers. You may not like them. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Yes, I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet, always alone. Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. My body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. 
I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like <coughs> what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone. Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood, and I wanted revenge, and Sean pulled me from it, brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me. And now it is silent. But it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Hmm. Ça en fait notre première victime est devenue un vampire. On se calme. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us, spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most Skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most Skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Why do you live here, amongst the filth and vermin? Live? Here we hide. 
What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? The vampire's sweet blood, that rich, dark wine that we crave, for it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Egon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. Okay, but ça va être derrière. Ça va être ce qu'on avait vu l'armoire. Je suis des flèches. Quelle flèche? Je veux la flèche. Allez là. Eternal gratitude for your protection, master. Bon, ça va nous faire remonter à travers l'armoire de l'église. Je suis pas certain. Old Bridget says you are one to trust. Non, c'est bon. Zut. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? Par là. I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. Take communion with me now. Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, 
True to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? This shelter is the tip of the iceberg. You hide your game well, I'll give you that. We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? But for the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You've turned Skull now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. Let's simply agree that all are one and the same. In death, I mean. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Je peux le transformer? Vas-y, je le fais guérir grâce à mon sang. Je vais le guérir. C'est cool. My discover is vampire blood would enhance your metabolism, perhaps even heal you. If what old Bridget says is true, I'll give you some of mine. I, I'd rather not. It would be 
extremely awkward. You have no choice, Sean. It's the only way to protect your chapel. Those still amongst the living. No, Dr. Reed. God made me this way. Who am I to disobey his will? You believe that God's plan was for you to be abandoned at birth? <sighs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. I can't imagine God intended for you to be molested by a priest in an orphanage. Drink, friend. No. I said, kneel and drink. Now. Calme-toi, mec, faut pas trop, hein. Qu'est-ce que je dois faire Il y a quelqu'un qui va venir me parler sur le retour parce que... Il y a quelqu'un qui a hurlé là, d'accord. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed. Can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Why is it that you sound so... afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mister. Glad to see you again. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. What can you tell me about the sad saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the sad saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he is not always sad. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself? You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You really think I should go back to a safer place, Miss? No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. 
Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Shornhampton Shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream, and there was this man, dead, just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all? No. I told you, just that awful woman's scream. A woman's scream? Are you sure? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Miss. Il y avait un truc à ma maman. Ça va chier les bulles. You again? What do you want? Peut-être qu'elle monte, hein? Problème. Que je peux te bouffer. Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? Why is that? Because this sexist pig is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. Well. Okay, let's go. Let's see what else could see. Yes, the car is ruined. It's the worst for everyone, isn't it? C'est tout droit. Tant que j'en ai eu... Niveau 20 en mode euh, si t'as abusé parce que ceux qui ont pas abusé ils sont pas niveau 12 ils sont niveau 12 pourquoi des niveaux euh, sont modifiés par rapport aux autres ou nôtres it's locked, all right.
Let's go see this. Oh, no. For me, it's it up. 29 Pretty Orchard Street. Yeah. This is it. What's in there for me? Does it cheat? There's been a fight here. This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? Where does this blood trail lead? Go back home, idiot! Qu'est-ce que tu me racontes, toi oh, oh, tu mets ça une bouclier. Why drag the poor wench across all these streets to let her expire and be found here? You're surprising. Occasionally. I'll take it. on this woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. This is not my mom. Only a golden watch in her pockets. It's important, I'm sure to leave the money. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Her shoes and clothes are quite worn out.
Right then. It's a sick game. But given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. Toi, ma petite, tu vas. Tu vas si tu me veux. On va voir qui veut qui. Ça. Histoire. Ça sent l'embrouille. Ça se trouve c'est ma sœur en fait. C'est ma sœur. Non, ne dis pas que ma sœur est devenue un vampire. C'est pas possible. Vous serez. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. Bah même au cimetière. Hein. Elle est en train de m'amener au cimetière. They've all been butchered. C'est sûr et certain. On est au cimetière pour voir la tombe vide parce que c'est ma sœur. Ma sœur qui est devenue un vampire. Non. Le feu qui se visse. Mais elle tue tout le monde, quoi, enfant. I can still sense a presence. Fin vénère. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Zhao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Zhao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? This part of town is very fragile. I hope the trust so many people put in her will not be betrayed. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. I've seen many deaths in my life, and we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. Others need company. And some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. 
Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. Je sais pas, casser le truc. Il y avait la meuf qui était là, qui chutait des trucs, qui essayait de faire peur, qui se téléportait. Et moi, je fais demi-tour, je fais oh, hey, Xiao Shun, c'est parti là. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Mm -hmm. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. But you're not dead. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with them. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say... I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for okay, You what have you done? Vicar Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge, son of perdition. Vicar, Vicar. <laughs> Jonathan is no demon. He's just a loving son returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, it has been you all along. Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Why did you lure me here? I'm gathering the family. For a final reunion, all smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. Mary, let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Right then. Speak. My prayers went so long. 
without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. It was the hunger. You know it now as well. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again. As you did when we were children. It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I had taken your life before I realized it was you. I tried to kill myself. Hmm. But you failed in your attempt. We cannot die, can we? We are a plague. I've watched you, Jonathan. You pull the strings and sever them. I've done what I had to do. I did not choose this fate. But I will have my answers. Ugh. There are no answers, Doctor. There's nothing left but pain and lies and treachery. Mary, wait! Time to go, Mother. Give my regards to my son. No! 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 <laughs> this is what I do to those I cherish. Can you imagine what I have in mind for you? I'll destroy you! Finally, we hear the truth! Dr. Reed, admit it. You're a monster who takes joy in killing, who relishes the chase, the secrecy of it all. I'm still a scientist. I shall find a cure for this madness. You lie to yourself. Confess your sins. Over the slaughtered corpse of our mother! Are those tears, brother dear? Your heart still bleeds with emotion. My dead heart has dried. <laughs> you are mad. Oh, so that's what I am, Doctor. Mad? I was beginning to wonder. I've been hearing voices, one in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my head. I cannot let you kill again, Mary. <laughs> time to die, brother. And this time for good. You left me to rot in this grave. Sayonara. Ah, il nous faut de l'ombre. Je peux pas changer mes trucs Rest in peace. Est-ce qu'on peut vraiment gagner contre cette personne <rire> Ah 
Je suis dégoûté qu'il n'y a pas de choix de dialogue pour essayer de la raisonner et tout. Un peu débile. C'est dommage au niveau du scénario. Peut-être qu'à la fin du combat, il y a moyen de choisir. Ce serait cool. Bon, je le laisserai en vie perso. Ça se trouve, notre mère va ressusciter. <rire> Ça ne se mise en pire. Alors, il nous faut donc des trucs d'ombre. Ok, me disait le fait, euh, ça change quelque chose si tu le poses euh, sur le scénario. Et là, en fait, ça donne une deuxième vue au boss, surtout. Super. Génial. Génial. Oh là 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 Bon, faut que je bouffe le prêtre du coup. Et sinon, elle va le bouffer. Honteux. Honteux C'est pas juste. Vous avez été vaincu. Ouais. Ouais. Bon, on va la vaincre et puis on va s'arrêter là. On va laisser une petite maillot, c'est ok.
revel in your true nature. Mais dans quel monde on vit, là C'est n'importe quoi. C'est... <rire> C'est incroyable. Ça me dégoûte. Ah là, ça me... Ça me débecte. Je suis... Je suis outré. Je sais pas d'autre mot. Je suis scandalisé, quoi. C'est tellement honteux. Il y a pas des rats dans le coin, là. Putain, mais je l'avais trop géré. Je me suis dit, ça y est, c'est bon. Mais non, pas du tout. Mon cul, que c'est bon. You left me to rot in this grave. In peace, monster. <laughs> Ça rend ouf ce truc. J'ai pas le temps de m'écarter, j'ai pas le temps. 
Mais c'est horrible Putain Alors oui, je, je ne parle pas fort, je chuchote. Je me retiens de hurler. Parce que chez moi, cette pièce fait office de salon et de salle à manger de cuisine. Et derrière, derrière moi là, il y a un mur en papier mâché. Et derrière ce mur en papier mâché, il y a ma chambre. On est en train de dormir ma copine. Donc si à 1h30 du matin, je me hurlé comme un sauvage, parce qu'il y a une putain de vampire de merde qui triche et qui met la misère, et eh ben ça risque d'entacher la vie de couple, tout simplement. <rire> Toi je te. Voilà, elle fait tout le temps ça. Elle fait ça. Tous les jours, madame, tous les jours. What have you done? Jonathan, kill him. Revel in your true nature. Une fois. Une fois, je vais esquiver. Non, mais ça, c'est parfait, je l'ai pas esquivé. Ça. Mais il y a trop de trucs. Arrête Arrête Pas ça Prends une pause, fais une pause. Ah, Reste ici. Une pause, on a dû revenir, voilà. <rire> ça, ça m'en fout, ça m'en fout. <rire> Putain, du coup, le de hurler. Le de hurler à la justice, je me secoue dans tous les sens comme un mec, mais qui... le mec en cage, quoi, qui a une camisole de force, mais il me rend folle. Elle me rend folle, putain. On se concentre. Il n'est pas dur ce boss. Il n'est pas dur. Il suffit d'esquiver et de la sommer. Et d'enchaîner l'attaque bombe. Simplement. C'est pas difficile. Le problème, c'est que des fois elle explose. Hein. Des fois elle explose pas. Et des fois on l'enchaîne et on a, 
On a mal géré notre envie, on a plus d'envie. C'est compliqué du coup. Alors là, pourquoi elle a explosé et pourquoi pas avant Ouais, elle va faire un backdash pour me mettre à l'envers. Et ça vomit. Mais je vais voir. J'ai envie d'aller me coucher, moi. <rire> non, en vrai, non, j'ai envie de la tuer et de voir ce qui se passe après. Enfin, voir si on la tue vraiment ou pas. Ou si juste on la somme, ou si elle s'enfuit pour la revoir plus tard. Enfin, ça devient le buzz final ou pas. Qu'est-ce qui se passe exactement Mais là, elle me rend dingue. <rire> Putain. On a mis le jour difficile, hein. Voilà. Les boss font un peu mal. Même si voilà, si on fait deux dash, on a perdu. Après qu'on fait dash en vue, bah, c'est bon de taper. Euh, dash up. Direct. Et ça va plus vite en l'outil, c'est lui qui revient. Ah 
You've killed me, brother. Rest in peace, monster. What have you done? Me, 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 me. Je me fais comboter. Je me fais comboter. Putain, mais au début j'en prenais pas une seule ces plantes de merde. Et maintenant elle me tape, elle me fout dedans. Ça me tape, ça m'amène sur elle dans son awol. C'est génial. Putain. Ah, ça rend, ça rend malade. Putain, les autres boss, ils étaient pas chiants comme ça. Franchement... Oh. Ce qui est souvent, c'est deux choses. C'est ces zones de merde, là, on voit même pas où elles sont. Et surtout, mais quand elles tapent, des fois, tu sais pas pourquoi, elle va plus loin que d'habitude. Il y a des fois où je fais même pas un dash. Où je fais un dash, et puis elle, elle fait l'attaque après en auto-guidé, et c'est pas assez loin, je peux la taper. Et il y a des fois, je peux faire deux dash, elle me touche quand même. Quoi. Incroyable. You killed me, bro. Kiss me again, sweet brother. Kill him. Revel in your true nature. Ouais, là, on se met pourquoi ça touche pas, ça touchait pas. Ouais, ça a touché, hein, c'est la fête. Come to me, Jonathan. Ouais, là, là, porté de sa mère, là. Je voulais faire une VOD d'une heure, ça va être une vidéo de trois heures avec deux heures de boss quoi. Putain. La relou, la relou. Oh non mais non. Non. J'ai skip le fight. <rire> Et je fais bugger le truc. Hop là. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Allez les gars, j'ai pas de quoi. Putain. Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end, forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, doctor. Like a rabid dog, or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. At last, I can forgive you. devenu un vampire elle a vu le sang qui euh... est ce que ma mère n'a pas vu le sang non plus du truc pourquoi nous deux on aurait vu le sang de quelqu'un elle a vu mon sang du coup je suis son créateur quand est ce qu'elle a vu mon sang elle a vu mon sang en tant que vampire et je lui ai pas donné mon sang As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister, I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. 
It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. Cher Dr. Rida, j'espère que cette lettre de... invitation de Lady Ashbury. J'espère que cette lettre se tr trouvera rapidement, car j'ai besoin de m'entretenir avec vous le plus tôt possible. La situation évolue très vite dans le West End, et je suis convaincu que nous courons tous maintenant à grave danger. La garde de Priwen a ouvert la grande chasse à Londres, et depuis quelques nuits, ils recherchent activement et tuent tous les Acons qu'ils peuvent. Lord Redgrave, le président du club Ascalon, m'a récemment contacté. Il souhaite vous rencontrer le plus vite possible. S'il vous plaît, venez me rendre visite à mon manoir la nuit, qui vous conviendra le mieux. Nous devons discuter de tout cela. Vous trouverez attaché à cette lettre un laissez passer officiel qui vous permettra de franchir n'importe quelle barricade ou poste de contrôle de la quarantaine dans toute la ville. Très bien. C'est bien, c'est très très bien. Ça c'est mon bureau. The flower's dying. It needs water. Bah, mais elle, mais, mais non, donc. On va passer quelques niveaux. Toujours plus de dégâts. <rire> La morsure va faire des dégâts incommensurables. Maintenant, il faut qu'elle soit nouvelle. De sang. Ça, ça fait mal et ça soigne. Il faudrait que ça récupère plus de sang quand je meurs. C'est possible ça Non, c'est possible. Qu'est-ce qui se passe des gens qui sont tombés très malades, elle notamment. Une sepsis, là.
côté de lui, hein, il y a un ennemi qui a arrêté de picoler. Et du coup, ici, je peux. Euh, je peux aller voir le mec là. Oui. Il fallait du charme en toi. C'est fait maintenant. Jonathan, old chap, how are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room, away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll? Where are they? There are only a few of us. Most others would not speak to you. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster, in less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Tell me more about the violence. Geoffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to the hospital? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the Lady's mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is, nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. Ça a été là pour cette fois-ci. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, je vous souhaite une bonne nuit et on se voit la prochaine fois pour la suite.